Alright everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek and welcome to Zero Budget Magic Duels, the series in which I cover uh, simple to build decks uh, that don't require too many hard to get cards that you can build uh, pretty much from the beginning. In this episode, we are covering a very simple white and blue deck that you can build right with the starter cards uh, that you get right from the beginning before you, you know, even have to unlock too much. So let's go in and see how this deck is built. Okay, so if you want to see the entire deck list, you can go down in the description box below to see how much of each card is in the deck. But uh, I'm just going to go through the cards uh, very quickly. So we have uh, the Dauntless River Marshal, who is, uh, you know, uh, easy to cast uh, a 2-1, which is not bad. And he gets a plus one, plus one, as long as you have Islands, which you will have in this deck. And his later game ability to tap a creature is uh, can be very phenomenal. We have the Woken Turns, which is a nice early game attacker, but just bear in mind it can't block so uh, you know use them sparingly we have a divine favor here we have a couple enchantments in this deck that will uh, you'll be able to search out with the uh, what do we have here this Hilliard's program so when you put a play you may search your the library for an aura card and you want to do that because you have aura cards such as the divine favor and uh, one of your control cards the dehydration uh, this is your main way to lock down creatures your opponent's creatures in this deck and you can actually search for that with the Hilliard's Pilgrim. Uh, so let's uh, go back here and we got uh, some telling times. Uh, you want to remember you don't want to really use these early in the game. You want to use them a little bit later when your hand starts getting light. Uh, we have the Sky Hunter Skirmisher. Again, your flyers will probably be the ones that will be doing most of the damage. And with Double Strike, uh, you know, he's just really good. And you put a Divine Favor on him and he'll do some crazy damage for you. Uh, we have the Frost Links here, which is just an awesome creature to lock down your opponent's critters. We have the Razor Foot Griffin, which isn't that great, but it is a fly with First Strike. So uh, that's why he makes the cut. Uh, we have a Dark, Dark Slick Drake here, another flyer uh, that when it dies, it lets you draw a card. Uh, let's go over here. We got some more flyers in the Sky Eel School and the Capsule Kite Fins. Um, so again, you want to use this deck to uh, lock down your opponent's creatures and get your attacks in with your flyers. And that's the path to victory. Let's see this deck in action. Okay, so these starter decks are not really meant to be played against human opponents because they're not very strong, but they're good to help you grind out uh, some coins so you can build your better deck. So let's see. We got a uh, good mana... Uh, distribution here we got the frost links uh, here we don't have too many early game stuff but uh, I'm tempted to man I'm tempted to uh, not keep this hand but I like the mana ratio so we're gonna keep this hand and hope it doesn't bite us in the butt so this is not a fast deck so you want to be patient with this deck and wait out your opponent lock down his stuff and get your attacks in with your flyers so that, didn't, that wasn't that great we're gonna go with the blue first because uh, most stuff here are two blue casting costs we have a couple two white and you usually don't want to do that in a deck you don't want to have two two like two white and two blue that's just not good but uh th i think this is the only two double white card in the in the deck so uh we'll put our planes out here because we really don't have anything else to play we'll pass the turn and it looks like we're facing off a, a blue red deck here some kind of counter burn perhaps Let's see here. So you got the Archon Sergeant, First Strike, and Renown. Uh, that's not that great, but we have a way to lock that down. We can either... Hmm. Well, we, we can go with the Skirmisher here, which is Double Strike. No, that won't kill it. It's only a 1-1. One, one. Um, so I think we want to Frost Links that, because we don't want him to get his Renown. So we will put... Uh, we'll go with the white and I think we're gonna frost links yeah we'll frost links them and that'll tap them and then it won't tap on his turn so again this deck is very much a control deck you want to control the tempo of this battle and pretty much once we've gone to three mana uh, you know, you don't need a tremendous amount to make this deck run. Alright, uh, so we'll go with that. So now we have our two blue. Um, we could go with our Skirmisher, but I think I want to... Let's see, I can go with the Skirmisher and nothing else. Um, 
we can go with a Heliod's Pilgrim. I think we're gonna go ahead with this Dark Slick Drake though here. We'll put this out now. And then when we get six mana, we can put this guy out. This guy just gets really crazy. Alright, we will attack with our Lynx there. Sneak in the damage when he can. And you know what? If he uses a fire to spell it, to kill it, fire spell to kill it, that's okay, but he didn't. I want him to waste all his cards and resources on these early game cards. And then our later game stuff will should uh, get us to victory. Uh, Guardian Automaton, and when it dies, you gain three life. It's a three three. I can block that with my flyer here. Uh, I can lock it down with dehydration, but right now it's not a issue. We'll put this planes. Um, what I think I want to do, I want to get this kite fin uh, into play soon, but I think we're going to do this. Uh, actually, we're going to do this the sky hunter first. We'll play this guy, and then we will put uh, this Woken turn. And then next turn, so we'll end our turn there. Next turn, I'll put this Heliod's Pilgrim and search for an aura to put on this guy. Uh, not that guy. Uh, this guy on Skirmisher. So he can do more damage. Uh, we will attack with... Uh, do we want to attack with this guy? We don't really need to block that. We're going to hold off. Again, this is a patience deck. So now when I play this, I could go and seek out something in response to what he's got going on here. Um, I will block with... Alright, I uh, want to block this guy here. And I think I'll use my links on that. That's okay. Now he'll probably do something to ping this to kill it. But then I'll get to draw a card if he does, so... Do you want to kill it? Uh, what is he doing? Top the spy network. Uh, we control top to put a plus one one color stop there. Ooh, whenever one or more artifact creatures could do the combat damage to the player, draw a card. That is not cool. And as a enchantment, uh, it tends to be pretty hard to deal with. Enchantments are hard to deal with in magic duels anyway. All right. Um, play this island now. I could put this capsule kite fins. Don't really need to right now though. Um, so we're gonna. Hmm. I can lock down. Yeah, I can lock down this guy. One, two, three, four. But then I won't be able to put my pilgrim. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that to lock this guy down. And we'll get our attacks in with this double striker. Or two. And I'll keep this guy back as a blocker to protect against uh, that 2-2 that he has. Alright, that'll be our attack. So again, we want to play very patiently here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I can get this show kite fins out maybe next turn. I got to make sure these stopters do not hit me. So then he gets to draw a card each time. Uh, oh. Hmm, what to do here? Well, we got some land here. Um, uh, how do I want to do this? Um, put this capsule. I think I'm going to put this capsule kite fins now. Uh, to 3 3 attacker. So I could search for an aura to put on this guy. Let's uh, play this guy. I want to search for an aura. Put on this guy. Yes, I want to do that ability. Uh, I want the divine favor. So we'll take this card, confirm it. And then I can play it and I'll put it on him. So I gain some health from that and then we'll go into our attack and this turn can't uh, it can't block so I will attack with it and attack with this guy but he'll most likely block this 
with his little top there. there. And there we go. Oh, he blocks that. He wants to kill the turn. That's fine because now this will hit for four damage. All right. And one thing I'm not liking, he's got a card advantage here, but it might mean that he just has stuff he can't play. He might be mana screwed, but he's got a lot of mana. And we got this dehydration here. Very awesome. All right, so we'll put this. Uh, what do we want to tap? Put this capsule out. Uh, choose a creature to tap. Uh, I will tap this little thopter. So you can't block with it. And we will attack with uh, only this guy here. Yeah, we'll only attack with the skirmisher. Because he's going to get another thopter, right? He gets, uh, at the beginning of the game, you control an artifact, put a 1-1. One, one. Yeah. So he's going to get another. So you have two thopters. Oh, but I want, they have summoning sickness. That's okay. Uh, draw two cards. You control an artifact. This guy, well, he controls an artifact, so he'll get two cards. So he's got kind of a nice card advantage here. Uh, Kaifi on side. Creatures you control get plus two, plus one to end of turn. Well, thank God that's a sorcery, because if that would have been during the combat, that would have been really bad for me. Alright, so what is he going to do? All right, he's gonna attack here. Uh, only with that, a four-three. I will probably just take that to the face. I could block with that, but I don't really need to. Hold on a second. Is this this guy's not artifact? So we'll take the damage to the face. That's fine. We will skip blocking. Uh, we should be able to win next turn. Let's see here. Uh, only if I could have played something, though. Uh, we'll throw that. Uh, we could put this dehydration on that guy there. Uh, and then we could attack for a 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But he's got these. He'll be forced to block or die. And then respond. Alright, so we'll dehydration on. This guy there. And we will attack for... We'll attack with all our flyers, I think. Uh, he can't double block to kill anything. So he's, this will force him to block. And I don't care if he counterattacks me on his turn. He's going to have to block and lose these Thopters. Now he attacks me with this renowned guy. I can chump lock him here with this uh, program. And he needed some more flyers. We will, yeah, we'll chump lock. Cause I don't want him to get the renown. At this point, it doesn't matter. But I want to play optimally. I don't want him to get the renown, so I'll just chump lock, and then go for the win this coming turn. Uh oh, he'll be able to tap. He'll be able to tap something on my turn, so maybe we don't get the win. He'll probably tap this guy. Uh, we got our own Dauntless River Marshal. <laughs> uh, well, we will play that to get as a blocker. Uh, but I don't get the kill. Oh, wait. I will, I will tap his little thopter there. That's right. When uh, creatures come into play, this lets me tap something. So, we will now attack with all. And that's fine because these will push through for 5 damage for the win? Yeah, I don't see any move that he can do. Alright, and we have defeated him. Alright, so the opponent will be playing first. Uh, what do we draw here? Um, not bad for mana here. We got these pilgrims and these skirmishers. <laughs> you know what? This is kind of nice because these skirmishers can, uh, I mean, these pilgrims can search for 
my enchantments put to put on these guys. So we're gonna keep this hand. Um, and I think we're gonna lead off with the guild gate because it comes into play tap. And uh, we're facing. We got, he's got red over there, so I hope he's not a very fast deck. Uh, so we'll put that, and we got nothing else. Um, you know what? Though I didn't realize uh, I don't have the two white for this. Uh, I am hoping I draw it. I need an island. I mean, I, I need a plains. There it is. Um, so we will put that out now. Uh, hmm. This guy won't get. Uh, so we're gonna play this out now. I could play this Dauntless Riz Marshal, but I need to control an island for him to get that one one. Uh, you know what? We will play it now. I'll get the island next turn, and if he wants to spend an attack spell to kill this now, that's fine. But I think anything will kill this at a two one will kill it at a even if it's a two uh, three two. So that's fine. And uh, so we'll put this island. We got this Razor Fin Griffin, who's kind of sucks, but so we're gonna put out the skirmisher. He may kill it, and then next turn we can play this Heliod's Pilgrim to get something to kind of enchant it with. Uh, we will attack with this guy here. So so far he's not playing anything. Uh, What will he be doing? He's probably got a handful of a bunch of high cost stuff. Alright, here we go. He's got a Goblin Piker. Uh, that isn't too much of an issue. Okay, that enters the battlefield tapped. Do we need four mana right now? We don't. Unless we wanted to play this Razor Foot Griffin, but I don't really. Actually, that Razor Foot Griffin will stop this guy. So actually. Actually, we will play that island now. We'll play the griffin. And then we'll attack in the air with our skirmisher. And this is a hit for two damage. So with this deck, you're not going to be doing tremendous amounts of damage. You want to like get your hits in when you can. Your primary focus is control what's going on over here. And if you do that, you will get your hits in. So now he can't attack without because this griffin will kill it without being touched. He gets a drake. That's that's problematic. Uh, let's see here. We drew an island there. We don't really need five mana right now. Well, actually, we could use five mana. We could play this. Uh, yes, yes, that'll be a two. Okay, we will play this island because we'll need the five mana. We'll play this pilgrim now. He lets me search for an aura. I do want to do that. And I'm going to go for this Divine Favor. I'll put that in my hand. And then I will play that Divine Favor on my Skirmisher there. And then I will attack with my Skirmisher. Uh, actually, I'll attack with also the Razor for Griffin, I think. Yeah. Because now this guy can block that piker. So we'll do that. So <laughs> I was saying play patiently, but it looks like in this game we're playing pretty uh, aggressive here. Yeah, and, and now in retrospect, I probably should not have attacked with that griffin. I, I figured he'd block the skirmisher. He gets his own skirmisher. That's okay. Mine is better. Uh, not anymore. He's going to play that. Well. That changed things here a little bit. Uh, we will put this go gate now because... I oh, Actually, I should have played the telling time first. Um, I could Heliod's program for another, um, another enchantment. Making this guy even bigger. Do you want to do that? Or telling time? I usually don't like 
You know what? We're gonna do it. I usually don't like piling on a lot of enchantments on one thing. But I think this time it may be worth it. Let's try this out. Let's see how this works out. Who we'll put that on that guy? So now he's he'll do three damage of first strike. And if he hits, he basically does six damage. We'll attack with him and only him. Confirm. And uh, three, four, five. He would just block with that, and that's gonna die. He's gonna have to keep the. I mean, he can attack me with this for six damage, but uh, his big concern is this. Uh, all right, he gets this thing here. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, draw a card and discard a card. That's fine. You know, I could use this guy to tap uh, tap down his creatures, but I don't think I really want to do that. You know, we have an island here. Um. I think now is a good time to do some telling time. I'll do a telling time. Let's see what we get. Um, I prefer this Drake. Actually, yeah, I'll put the. Yeah, there we go. All right. So let's see. Choose a card to put on top of your library. Uh, Okay, there. And I think I want to put this Drake. Oh, well, actually, I, I, I wanted to hold on. Uh, and uh, that was a little bit of misplay. I wanted to use this guy's ability to tap something down, but that's that's okay because he still can't double block. So we're gonna attack with this guy. He's probably gonna block with one, but that dies. Now, if he gets an unsummon, you know, all my plans will be kind of ruined. But I think I'm in a pretty good position here. I'm, you know, again, in charge of the battlefield. And that's what you want to do. All right, he gets this griffin here. How much mana we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If I get one more mana, I can tap down two guys. If I can get one more mana... I can use this ability twice. I did not get the mana I wanted. Um, so we're gonna. I think we'll tap down this this guy and force him to block with this three one. Oh, actually, hold on. Three, four, five. No, he still can't get. So we're gonna use this guy. Tap target creature. We'll tap the Griffin that he has. Then we will go into our attack phase. Uh, I think we're gonna attack with both uh, this and this. Uh, we'll keep this guy back as a blocker. So anything he blocks with is gonna die. He has to block this. He doesn't want to take that six damage. And then I will put uh, this skirmisher out, and we are done with our turn. So, uh, look at this, it's just a lopsided lead here. Uh, he comes in with that. Uh, did I keep it blocked? Uh, I'll take the hit. That, yeah, that was my thought process. I, I'm, I can afford taking damage because I'm so high on life. High on life, I am. And anyway, he knew that I tapped down his blocker there. So, uh, let's see. Two... Uh, oh, I'm. No, this is yeah, this is game. So this will hit for six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, so let's go into our attack phase. He might have something that he can use to shoot or unsummon. Uh, do we want to attack with more than that? Um, no, that's fine. Just in case he's got some tricky trick up his sleeve here. A tricky trick. Well, he's gonna take all the damage, all the damage to the face.
All right, let's see what kind of hand we start off here. Oh, this is terrible. Too white. Um, uh, I don't really like this. Uh, it, it's it's pretty important to get have access to your two color source. So we're gonna join your hand. Oh my God, what? Oh, we can't keep this. Is too much land. All right, we gotta join your hand here. Oh, that's just not much better, but. Uh, we can't keep going down. So let's see how we do with drawing, you know, basically a crappy first start. Um, either one of these comes into play, Battlefield tapped. So we'll put the Guild Gate because no matter what comes into play tapped. Well, but with this dehydration and this Heliod's program, we can lock down some stuff if we need to. All right, so we drew some more land, which we don't really need. Uh, we'll put an island, but we still have no play yet. Fortunately, he did not have a turn one drop, which makes me feel a little better. And here we go with a corpse hauler. 2-1. Um, our Heliod's program can kill that and die in the process. Um, we will put this Glacial Fortress. Do, now, do I want to put this Heliod's Program? You know, I could put this and get a... Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna play the Pilgrim. And we're gonna go for... Yeah, we want that. We're gonna go for this Divine Favor. If he attacks me... I'll let it go through, take the damage, but then when I play this later, I'll get that life back and make my critter much bigger. So he's going to attack, I'm sure. No, he's not. He really doesn't want to lose this. Oh, he's got another one. So you kind of don't want to lose your corpse holders for nothing because their ability is actually really useful. So now I'm not really expecting him to attack uh, much. Uh, all right, so I can't play with these. I can... Uh, Oh, you know what? I can, I could put this Woken Turn and put this Divine Favor on it, but that just makes it a three attack flyer. You know that could be pretty powerful, but um, we're gonna play. I think we're gonna play defensively here. We're gonna play this Woken Turn now, and we're gonna play this Divine Favor on the Pilgrim. I think, and we're gonna be defensive. I think. Do want to do that? I really don't think he's gonna attack with these guys but yeah we're gonna put the divine favor I'll put it on him and it just makes sure that most things that he attacks with I will be able to block of course he is black so he probably has like a doom blade or something that will uh, we're not gonna we're not going to attack oh we could attack but then you know, counter attack for four so we will skip the attack we wanna bide our time our, our game plan is to win through the air so if he doom blades this, he's keep it. This keeps this alive, and he's got green. Uh, cursed spirit. Well, that's fine because he can hit me with that once, and then I'll lock it down with the dehydration. And looks like this turn. Oh, this is good. Now this turn I can get this sky eel uh, school here. Uh, do I want to do that now? I have to draw a card and then discard a card. I, I like everything that I have right now. Let's... Hold on. Let's uh, go into attack phase first. Let's attack first. I don't really think there's anything you can do. Because he's tapped out. But as a general practice, it's usually better to attack first. And we're going to put this guy in school. Let's see what we draw. We draw a card and discard a card. I really don't want to discard any, so it'd have to be something really, really awesome for me to keep it. Just another Woken Turn. I don't want that, so we'll discard that. That's fine. These are much more important. So he'll probably attack me with this uh, Intimidate guy, and then I'll lock it down with Dehydration. A Dehydrating dehy Spirit. Oh, the skirmisher is nice, uh, but we don't need it now. We're going to dehydration on that guy. Uh, 
and then we're going to attack in the air. I could have held this guy back as a blocker, but you know, uh, getting getting some good offense early is is kind of nice. I think we have kind of good control over the battlefield right now. He's really afraid of attacking with these guys because he's gonna lose them without getting to use their ability. And a child of night. We can get our sky hunter next. Maybe this guy. Let's see what we draw. Uh, not enough to get the cap show. So we will. Uh, let's go into our attack phase. Attack with these two. Confirm the attack and see what happens. He's got three colors there. White, black, and green. Uh, and then we will put a skirmisher there. We don't have enough for, no for another one. Though if I had six mana, I would have put this capsule. Okay, so now I got a blocker versus some of this stuff. Two blockers. He does attack with that. Um, what is he thinking? This will kill that. This will kill that. All right, well, let's see. Because this has double strike. Will it'll deal first strike first and then regular damage. The first strike will kill this. So we'll confirm the block. Unless he's got something to buff it up. But again, using two cards to kill one is not a good ratio. So I don't know why he did that. It's see he thinking he wants to have a creature here to be able to just to be able to do this. Do we? Oh, we get a frost links. Huh. What could we do with that? Can we kill him this turn? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not quite. Um, I can frost links. Tap something down. Three, four, five, six, seven. Seven damage. I don't have enough for that extra damage. Um. So I don't really need the frost links now. Damn it. Yeah, so tapping something down doesn't really help me squeeze in that extra point of damage. So we're just gonna go into our attack phase. We will attack with these our flyers here. And three, four, five, six, seven. He'll be at one life. Couldn't squeeze that extra point of damage. Couldn't get it there. Um. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna put a skirmisher. The skirmisher can block any of these things. Next turn, unless he is able to kill all three of these or put blockers for them, he's dead. All right, and that's it. And then we, oh, um, we're not gonna play anything else, so. We will just go for the kill now. Uh, attack with all my flyers. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the game. Hey guys, thanks for watching Zero Budget Magic Duels. Please be sure to check in the upper right hand corner to see links of this and more episodes in this series. And uh, if you have some comments uh, or questions about this deck, please uh, leave a comment down below. And as always, like and share this video. And guys, until next Friday when the next episode airs, I'll see you soon.